to my dear, dear friends. This is Tamara Weeks with Tam's Daily Vlog. How are you today? I am sitting in the parking lot of the Are You Dizzy Clinic. So if you have any problems with being dizzy, you go to this clinic and they do a battery of tests. And do you love my hair? It looks like I just got out of bed. It actually looks worse than if I just got out of bed. I did take a few minutes to fix my hair before I came and they put two different things on top of my head that messes up your hair. So if you're ever going to go to a dizzy clinic, make sure that you don't fix your hair. So I told the receptionist when I left, I said, you really should tell people before they come about their hair getting messed up. I said, I am not upset today because I'm not going anywhere. But if I were going somewhere from this clinic, I would be very upset. I said, I cannot fix my hair back in three minutes. And she just said, okay, like um, nobody's ever said that to her before, which I don't understand why no one would have ever told her that before. That should just be part of their, oh, please arrive 15 minutes early and fill out all your paperwork. Make sure you have your insurance. Make sure you have your ID. Make sure you have all your information and a list of all the drugs that you take. And by the way, don't fix your hair before you come. It should just be part of that spiel, don't you think? Okay, so they had me stand in this thing where they, they, move the, they move the floor a little bit on some of the tests. They move the walls a little bit on some of the tests. They had me do this thing where I'm moving my head from side to side while a metronome is going. So I'm doing it the same speed as the metronome. He had me do stuff where I was doing my head up and down. He did a test where he was moving my head like a metronome while I was sitting in a chair. Then I was in another place and he was shaking my head 20 times. And while I have this, these goggle things and my eyes are covered. And then he did it again where he shakes my head 20 times. I'm not sure what all he found out, but there is something going on in my inner ear. He kept saying something about one side of my inner ear being weaker than the other side of my inner ear and then he knew that I was wearing glasses I had to take them off to put those goggles on but we do another test and I have to look several feet away at the the letter E where it has the prongs and I had to tell him if the prongs were up or down or left or right and they just they just snap them out there really fast well, I can't hardly see him because I don't have my glasses on, but according to him, I did pretty good. And then I said, he finishes the test, and I said, well, I said, I wear bifocals. Does that make a difference on this test? So it does make a difference. So we ended up redoing the test, and of course, I did much better because of my glasses being on. But one part of that test, I did okay, and another part, I was like two or three points on the bottom side, like like two or three points below the bottom number that's considered okay. So I'm not sure exactly what they found out. I'm gonna go back again, today is Tuesday. I'm gonna go back again in two days on Thursday and then I'm gonna go back on three visits next week. And they're gonna do more tests and I'm not sure what all they're gonna do or what all they're gonna find out, but um, that's what happened today. And it's not real informative to tell you exactly what they did, but maybe when I come back on Thursday and this was a good day to come because this is a really bad day for me yesterday on Monday I did not leave the couch all day long today I'm probably gonna go back and lay down again I'm super super tired I do have a headache it is focused on the right side of my head I do not have any medication in, in me well maybe what's left over from yesterday afternoon but no medication today um, but I just feel like my body is moving slower. I'm a little bit dizzy. My speech is just a little bit slower. So it's just because I've been busy and se se I have been busy. Sunday was super busy and was on my feet on Sunday morning, but then on Sunday afternoon was on my feet from about 4.30 to 8 because we had singing practice from 4.30 to 5.30. Church starts at 6.00. And then God just moved, and it was the sweetest, most beautiful spirit of God moving. And God just moved, and we had this fabulous pastor, and he 
is sensitive to God and he said, I feel a spirit of a ministering spirit of God and he would have different people um, stand up or come to the front and people would gather around them and pray. So sometimes there was more than one group of prayer going on at the same time, but God just moved and it was very beautiful. But because of God moving, I was standing on my feet that whole time, which was okay because I always tell God when it's all over that God, no matter what, I feel when this is all done, I won't ever stop worshiping, I won't ever stop singing, and I won't ever stop praying. And so, what I have, and what I am experiencing today and yesterday is a little bit of Sunday. But God's blessings are so, so deep. And what I feel right now it will, will go away in a few days. So, this is the result of my Are You Dizzy Clinic appointment. And I will talk to you very soon. You have yourself a wonderful, beautiful day. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord. Bye-bye.